steal a day, run away to another town to play. Cause I'm running again, so. Doesn't feel right. Killing you with kindness is the way I like to get in your face. Come as midnight. Sometimes I like the discipline. I speed and pay the price again. I know this day is still gonna end before it's done. I'm having no regrets. Running hard, driving fast, jumping blind. And my life is safe. That's when I draw the line and contemplate this place. I'm a renegade soul. I'm always ready to go. Cause I don't know how to slow down to keep my feet on the ground. Stick around. I'm a renegade.
Hello, hello, and welcome to the David Blair Music Show podcast, the 7 p.m. evening edition for Berlin time, that is Central European summertime, and 10 a.m., nice in the morning there, Saturday, in uh, the West Coast there, back in Vancouver and in Portland and in San Francisco and L.A., whoever's watching from the West Coast in North America, it's 10 a.m., Good morning to you. So today is the 4th of July. Uh, doesn't mean anything to anybody around the world except for America. So to my American friends uh, whom I love and adore so much, um, happy, happy Independence Day today. Um, there's a lot of meaning to it, I think, to the Americans. And I think um, I'm not sure how it is. Sorry? Okay, wonderful. That's good. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, so what I want to do is I'm going to talk a little bit today is uh, the show is called The Meaning of Freedom, which, of course, is inspired and uh, and a little tribute to um, America's uh, Independence Day. We'll take a look at little book, a little look at the history of the Star Spangled Banner, which is their national anthem. Uh, we'll chat a little bit what freedom is to me and the journey. Um, in which I've kind of found some freedom through my song, surprisingly. The surprise of what a uh, freedom that I found through songwriting through over the years, and I'm going to share that with you. And today, I will also be unveiling, you get to hear in f its full entirety, the new single that comes out July 31st, which is called Way of Life. So without further ado, let's get the intro in here. This is a soundtrack to our conversation. You're Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, without further ado, I want to, the show um, uh, is supported by my lovely patrons. And you, you, you can become a patron, patron anytime you'd like to. There's a link there uh, in the description. But uh, I want to say thank you to Christoph, Christopher Mettler, Uta and Peter Steinbach, the Schwer family, Kathy and Willem Wary, Kim Mady, Shauna Verburg, and everybody who's contributed to the show uh, since March, since the COVID days. Um, it's sort of been a crazy journey for me. This has been the longest time that I have not played a live show since 2005 when I first started playing live shows. So yes, it's crazy. 15 years, I have not gone three months without playing a show, even when in 2011, I was diagnosed with notes on my vocal cords and could not talk. Can you imagine that? Could not talk. For one month, that's what the doctor said, all nonchalantly. Just don't talk. Yeah, me. We're talking about me, people. Podcast, David. I've had two people separately tell me from different parts of the world say, I'm so glad you're doing a podcast show. Probably because I like talking, um, which my father also mentioned last week. So, yeah, that was a pretty hard thing to go through. Um, I want to do a quick video, a uh, little thing right now, because I want to send a little thank you 
That didn't mean any sense at all. That didn't make any sense at all, <laughs> video thing. Okay, so here's the thing. I have a new video coming out for Way of Life, my song Way of Life, which comes out July 31st. Although my patrons already have that. It's in there. They, they, can, they can download it right now. Um, and uh, so, yes, the video comes out, well, before before this the release, okay? And I'm asking people who are passionate and they love it. They, they cannot live without this thing in their life, whatever they do. That is kind of them. It's an expression. It's a manifestation of them. They just love it. Whatever that might be, this way of life. Because there's a little part of the song that goes, Love is a way of life with you. And it's just all, you know, to me, I got so inspired by that line that I was like, you know, it would be super cool to see what people's way of life is. Like their love is a way of life. So what is that? What is their love? What is their passion in life? So we've been doing that. I've been having people... Uh, send in their send in their little clips and I'm gonna first show you a little demo of what I'm looking for in case you guys are interested. So here let's do this. Let's go let's do the demo. I give it up in a heartbeat just to stay with you. Yeah. People tell me the freedom's on a point of When I'm without you, I'm locked inside Your circumstances can make you right The light that shines inside me when I'm with you All right, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for for uh, contributions. So we've had a couple contributions already from Julia Menlein or Julia Menlein. Uh, thank you very much, Julia. Um, David Zurabashvili, a soccer player from Turkey. Uh, sorry, from Georgia, I should say. He played in the Premier League in Turkey. Very, very cool. David Anthony, um, and as well, I know Shauna Verberg, Kathy, Kim, Willem, you guys all just sent in your contribution, which is fantastic. I love it. I'll be posting that on Instagram and Facebook for people to see. It's a fantastic post. I love it. It's so great. It's so much fun getting everybody involved, getting you guys involved. So, um, um, But anyway, before I go further... Who's all on? I know, I know, I know, Kathy, you're already there because Nicole already said to, said to me, she's like, she's there. And people are all like wondering. I'm not a father yet, by the way, just for those who are inquiring. Not yet. Not yet. But he's there. He's she's Hochschwanger, as they say in German. She's really highly pregnant, but it's just not there. Any day now, though, ankles are swelling. She's getting cankles. You know, she's getting little, uh, you know, contractions. I'm, uh, you know, anyway. All right. So who's there? Diana? Diana, she was there earlier. So Diana, s nice to see you again. Wonderful. Welcome back. Katharina Fuchs. Hey, Kathy. Uh, again, uh, so Geburtstag, schöner Geburtstag. You know, uh, it was your birthday a few days ago. Wonderful. Willem, of course. Erica Marston. Very nice. Hello, Erica. James Guest. Welcome, welcome. Suzanne Fleck. Hey, nice to see you again. Good to see you. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. So, no, Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Nee, Herzlichen Willkommen. Oh mein Gott, mein Deutsch. Uh, what is this? Um, Steffi, Potzman. Steffi Potzman. Very nice. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you very much. We'll do, we'll get. Did you? Okay, wonderful. So, yes, if you'd like to contribute to my video and you want to be in it and show me your passion and show what you stand for in your life, you know, do that. Do the little hashtag, this is my way of life or this is our way of life if you do it with some friends. And, you know, if it's something that you love doing, you have your tribe. And then you can upload it. She, uh, Nicole has just put the link that you can upload it to in Dropbox. And then you just film it, you know, with your phone this this way. You know, you just shoot it this way. Not this way, but this way, if you can. Okay? And uh, just be proud. Be loud and proud and just, you know, own it. It's fantastic. So, so far it's been pretty amazing. You can see some uh, examples on Instagram and I posted them as well on Facebook. So... Um, so where are we? So we are today is the 4th of July, Independence Day. Um, I do love America's story. I'm not American. I'm from Canada, from Vancouver, but I, you know, America is my favorite country in the world. I know my Canadian friends will be upset to hear that, but I love Canada. I do. And I love the world. I think of myself as a citizen of the world, to be totally honest. I live in Germany. I think it's a great country here. If anybody has been to Europe, you know that Europe is a great place to live. Pretty much anywhere in Europe is pretty amazing. All the way from Latvia to to France to Italy it's just it's beautiful here but I have a special place in my heart for America I've seen 36 states I've driven from you know Seattle all the way to New York and back 
I haven't, there's, there's still 14 states I haven't seen yet, which I really want to see. And there's so many places I want to see just from a natural standpoint. I absolutely love the country, you know, but just the culture and it's something that I've kind of grown up with my whole life. So some of the things, and of course, some of my favorite people in history, like Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, these are fun, some of my favorite people in history. Um, they just happen to come from the states. And so um, Thomas Jefferson wrote, uh, of course, the their, um, uh, what do you call it, their Declaration of Independence, uh, which was July 4th, 1776. This is, they are 244 years old today. And um, one of the things I love about it is is their, their statement, their stand. So I had to just say a little bit, a little bit about it. You know, it's like, I love it. July 4th, 1776. Can you, can you imagine this, people? 1776, long, long time ago, 200, like nearly three, well, two and a half, two, two, 144 years ago, it's a long time. Um, there was 13 states at the time, and they were pissed with England because England was holding them down a lot, you know? So it's kind of like moving out from your parents' place. You love your parents, but you kind of go, it's time to leave home. And so they kind of just did this, and he's like, one of the statements that everybody knows is, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness what are those we don't know but certainly and everybody defines them in their own way and today freedom well liberty is uh, a little bit what i'm gonna what i'm touching on today so that's a little quote of that um the star spangled banner i wanted to get into that just a little bit here because i don't know about americans if they even know but so for my american friends i'm going to tell you a little bit about your own country because I think it's fun. I'm whenever I'm in the states, I'm like, oh, you're from the, uh, you know, you're from this state, you know, whatever. It could be the golden, you know. I could be like uh, the Dairyland state, you know, that's uh, which is Wisconsin. Yes, the Dairyland state, that's right. Or Land of Lincoln, which is Illinois, or the Keystone state, which is uh, no, sorry, the Garden state, which is New Jersey, or the Keystone, which is Pennsylvania. See, I know a lot of states by their. I love their license plates. It's so much fun. But I should know, I know Washington's the evergreen state, but I don't know what Oregon is. So maybe you guys will, and you can tell me what Oregon, what is Oregon? I don't know what their, what their, California's golden state, right, is the golden state. But I don't know what Oregon is, actually, I should know that, um, being from the West Coast there. Utah is the beehive state. Okay, all right, enough, 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 random fact guy. Um, so Star Sangle Banner, you know, so first of all, I'm going to sing it a little bit, okay? So here you go. Oh, see, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. I think it started a little bit high. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming. Ramparts, by the way. Or walls, they're like they're they protect a, ca a castle. I don't even know if Americans, if do you know that rampart, what a rampart is? I did not know that. And the rockets' red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, see, does the star-spangled banner yet wave? <laughs> Over the land of the free <laughs> In the home of the brave There's apparently four more stanzas, but they only sing that one. And then they usually have jets flying overhead whenever there's like a World Series or Super Bowl or some uh, outdoor event that's just insane. So I get all crazy and teary-eyed. Never gets crazy. Uh, I love it, though. So that's one of my favorite pastimes, absolutely, is just being at those opening ceremonies of games. So, yes, uh, there it is for my American friends. Um, um, so where are we here? That's the song. Um, what's really cool is here, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the, the Star Spangled Banner. Just quickly, okay, people? For I know a lot, not everybody's interested in the States. And, I, you know, I get it because I get it. There's Everybody know they kind of get forced with American information. I'm telling you. Weary family, I know you're watching right now. I'll tell you, it's so crazy. I feel bad, actually, for Americans because I feel like they get forced. You guys are not sitting there telling everybody your news. But the newspapers in Germany always report on what Trump is doing. I don't even get it because it has nothing to do with Germany for the most part. And so I don't really get it. But everybody's always reporting on, the, on what he's doing, which I don't get. It's none of our business. I mean, in Germany, anyway. Anyway... My American friends, who I know are, are just tremendously friendly and open and outgoing, um, they have, this was written, this poem, this song was written in 1814 by a 35-year-old lawyer 
named Francis Scott Key. And he was inspired by the defense of Fort McHenry in the Battle of 1812. So, yes, we're not going to get totally into it, but that's what the, the, the 15 stars and 15 stripes, and he was talking about the flag, and they were battling for freedom against England at the time, and England was just pummeling them, and they're like, and he's like, he, the flag's still waving, and th that's proof that we're still there. So I kind of like it. I like that their song was a little bit battle-tested. battle, battle tested. So that's it. So 1814, but the music wasn't done. Believe it or not, it didn't become an official anthem in the United States till when? When? You probably don't know. 1931. So 130 years later, that's what I love about songs. They just live on and on and on. By the way, my single, Way of Life, I wrote this song four years ago, and it's just coming out now. Um, you know, it just, I just, um, it just, it's always interesting to me when songs kind of, you know, you know, Hallelujah was written in 1984, and it didn't become really big in the world until way, way later, like 15, 20 years later. Always interesting. Um, okay, so that's it. That's enough about that. So we're going to get jump right into... Um, the story, the story of my life a little bit, people. Um, I'm going to sing to you a song from my first album. It's called Renegade Soul because um, I found that as I've learned, discovered myself and find, finding out who I am, it's really led to a lot of freedom because I understand how I work. What's this machine that I have called a brain? <laughs> how does my brain work? Because it's just different, it's unique. There's no other brain in the world that is that is me. And yeah, so how do I how do I work? And who am I? So this song is called Renegade Soul. And like I said, I didn't mean it's like over the years I've looked at the lyrics in the song gone. Uh, that is who I am. Very, very interesting, very revealing, but I had no idea at the time that I was being so revealing. Here we go. People call me crazy cause they can't quite figure me out But I know Nothing in this world can save me Nothing except a little love For my heart broke so Nothing can save me My heart broken so Sometimes I hear the song Sometimes I stand deaf and alone a kid that uses all my lies That's me, that's just how I thrive When I work, when I play As I walk through this crazy game I talk a million words at a beat When friends are saying I shouldn't speak And say some days I'm in the front row at church some nights I'm plotting plans in the dirt to escape Steal a day, run away To another town to play Cause I'm a renegade soul I'm always ready to go Cause I don't know how to store Suffocating slowly in a soft, warm, comfortable place doesn't feel right Killing you with kindness is the way I like to get in your face Come as midnight, midnight Sometimes I like the discipline I speed and pay the price again, yeah I know this day is soon gonna end Before it's done I'm having no regrets Running hard, driving fast, jumping blind Falling further from my place When I feel fine And my life is safe That's when I draw the line And contemplate this place You see, I just want my life to be hard. I don't, I don't know why, but I do. It's just, I'm reading these lines going, Man, this is so me. It's so crazy. I'm a renegade, so... I'm always ready to go Cause I don't know how to slow down And keep my feet on the ground And stick around, I'm ready to get so So yeah, that's my that's that was kind of one of the first songs on my first album that really I think 
explorers a little bit who I am and just talking about me. Sometimes I hear the song. Sometimes I stand deaf and alone. That is how I feel. I'm like, I don't. I, like I feel like I'm the only one who is not getting it. Like, that I felt like that a lot in school. Um, and yeah, and my dad, you know, it's funny. He was saying last week I had or two weeks ago when I had the Father's Day podcast show. Um, you know, I was talking about what I admire in him, and he was saying he admires in me that I'm a risk taker. I mean, okay, I don't like to think of myself as a risk taker. I don't think I am much of a risk taker, but it's crazy. But I can also not. Do, I mean, I guess in some ways I am. You, you've seen some of the pictures of what I do. And I posted it on social media of what <laughs> what I do, but in my mind, it's it's not. I kind of like that's where life is right there on the edge. So this song is very telling of me, and it's been you know I think when I read it, I kind of go, yeah, that that kind of is me. So it's kind of interesting to kind of look at myself in a mirror a little bit when I when I read that song. Okay, people. So freedom to me has. Um, I'm going to play you a little clip. Um, here's one thing I love about America as well. They are so amazing at entertainment. Let's be honest here. From around the world, we know that America is the leader when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to music and movies and film and TV shows and Netflix and all these kind of <laughs> crazy things. Facebook, it's just it's social media. The whole thing comes from America. Like they are the entertainment kind of of the world, right? And one of the things I love is that they, they, they really lead it when it comes to TV shows. And I just recently uh, um, found this guy, Johnny Manuel. I'm going to jump here to my little small screen. I'm going to play you a clip of this guy. And to me, to me, freedom, this, this guy, freedom comes in moments too. Um, and when I wa listen to this guy sing, it's, it's so amazing to me. Um, one second here. It's so amazing to me where I see him go from being a normal guy to being in a total place of power and freedom within himself as he becomes himself as he's singing. This song to me epitomizes the way of life. When you are in your way of life, you just you just in the zone. He's really in the zone and you can hear it. So I want you guys to witness this. I had to share this with you. This is from America's Got Talent, which ironically uh, Simon Cowell, a Brit a Britain guy, is uh, in this in this one, of course. But you gotta you gotta hear it. So here we go. Let's do this. Listen to this and feel the moments of how Hello. he becomes and What's himself. your name? My name is Johnny Manuel. Okay, tell me a bit about you, Johnny. Well, I'm from Flint, Michigan, and I've been singing most of my life. Where have you been singing for most of your life? Um, I got signed when I was around 14 years old to a record label. Okay. I presume it didn't work out. It did not work out. I mean, as a kid, I thought that, you know, I was going to take off and see the stars, and obviously it didn't happen that way. You still Everybody's got the like, dream. Oh. What do you hope could happen off the back of this? Oh, my God. I hope what can happen is that I'm finally able to be who I am and present myself and my music to the world. Be who I well, am. Well, listen, Johnny, I really hope this works world. out for you. Thank you, guys, too. <laughs> so watch this guy Thanks. enter a world of freedom right now. This is amazing. This is a way of life right here, people. Enjoy this. I'm telling you, I, did, I cried when I watched this first time. You'll hear it. Okay. Share my life. Take me for what I am. Because I'll never change on my color. For you. Listen to those lyrics too. They're so true. I don't really need to look very much further. I don't wanna have to go where you won't follow. I won't hold it back again. This passion inside. I can't run from myself. There's no People are going crazy. This is a goosebump moment, you know? <laughs> I 
I mean, now he's getting people up there. Up there. See, when I was watching this, I'm going, wow. So you get the point, people. That is that is right there a moment of freedom. And I'll tell you something. It's like when you're in that moment, it doesn't matter if he, he could if he did that, selling albums or being in a record deal, all that stuff is superfluous. That's all on top of it. But when he does that, you I mean he's in the moment, let me tell you. And it's just it's an amazing feeling. I've had that moment a few times on stage, but also in sports where you're just on fire. You know, you see a Michael Jordan player, you see an incredible play by Rafa Nadal or Tiger Woods. And you go, or any athlete, and you just go, wow. In that moment, they're excited because they're like, that felt so good. You just can't believe it. And I, I feel very blessed that I've been uh, given a gift of athletic um, ability in that way. And so I've been able to feel that way too. And I feel freedom in music and songwriting and expressing myself and talking to you guys here on this show. So it's so amazing to me. So much fun, so much fun to be able to do. Um, so I'm going to go right now uh, back to uh, my al- my second album, 2009, when um, I wrote another song called I've Been Hiding. And um, I really didn't know. It's funny. A, a lot of times songwriting, you write the song, and then you realize after you've written the song um, stuff about yourself that you never knew. So this song is also a song about a little more self-discovery. And I finally admitted to myself, I've been hiding. I'm scared of relationships, my God. And here it was, 2009. And (laughs) so what is that, 2009, that makes me at that time, um, I would have been already uh, 35. And um, still single, still scared, still hiding. And this is uh, my song kind of like going, laughing at myself, kind of going, oh my God. I'm really not going to be able to find somebody knocking on my door if I'm hiding. So here you go. Something that's on my mind It's kind of wearing me down I've burned and abused my time How many days have I left out I know that you're out there but I'm closing my eyes I'm softening my heart I'm taking off this disguise I hope you can see me In the starlight I'm just past the hillside A little more to the right Oh, oh, everything, all that I have, it's already in you, you already own me, you have me, all that you need is to find me. Cause I'm right here hiding Shh, please don't tell anybody I've been hiding Honestly, hopefully, maybe I'll open my eyes And not be scared to see you through the bright lights I listen for your song Cause, cause, cause I hope you can see me in the starlight. I'm just past the hillside. I'm still to the right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Everything, all that I have, it's already in. You already own me, you have me, all that you need is to find me, cause I'm right here hiding, please don't tell anybody, 
I've been hiding Hiding Been hiding Hiding Yeah Yes, so that was song number two in which I realized only later that I was learning about myself and finding out who I am. I think art's a wonderful way, whatever you do it in a, whatever hobby way. I mean, look at that 35-year-old lawyer writing poetry that ended up being the National Anthem for the States. He's a lawyer. That's what he does. But his hobby was poetry. And what does he, what is he known for? His hobby, not for what he did for a living. So I always feel like I think art is such an important thing to do for everybody and any at any skill level. I think it's a great way to find out who you are. I mean, my God, look at Da Vinci, Leonardo Da Vinci. Let's take a look at that man. Painting everything, but also an architect, also an inventor, an engineer, everything, right? He's doing everything. Truly, truly amazing when you start to discover who you are and um, the freedom that comes with discovering who you are and seeing where you are, yeah, you're blocking yourself, really, in, in a way. And it's kind of kind of amazing. Um, so, uh, what did I have here lined up? I wanted to show you guys... Um, um, to me, freedom in sports. Uh, for me, again, like my two favorite things, of course, are music and sports. Those are my two favorite things. When I think of all my friends that I have, pretty much I think every single one of my friends have played sports with them and competed against them and with them, been on teams, and uh, or done music, both. You know, we've done all kinds of different things, all kinds of different projects, but sports has always been a big part of my life, and I just absolutely love it, which is another reason why I love the States, because they have more sports variety than any other country in the world. My God. They have, you know, just the four major ones, of course, we all know, basketball, hockey, football, and baseball. And then they have everything else on top of that, indie and, I mean, golf and tennis. And it's just, I, forget, I love the culture there. So I made a little video. So we're going to premiere the song, Way of Life. Uh, but before I do that, you know what, let's let's do a little uh, introduction to Way of Life. I, I, did th I wrote the song in 2016, and I made a little clip to go back to what I was thinking at the time. So let's let's share that. The Way of Life. This is a songwriting Sunday from 20... Actually, I ended up releasing this May 7th, 2017. So here we go. Hi, guys. Welcome to another episode of Songwriting Sunday. It's your host, David Blair. I'm going to do an acoustic version of a song. I call it Way of Life. The inspiration behind it, I should say, uh, overcoming your ego, I think, to be in a relationship. I think there's a lot of uh, humbling that goes on. It goes on something like this. <laughs> Very interesting, and how sometimes you can predict your future ahead of time. Kind of I give it up in a heartbeat just to feel with you. All right, so you get the idea. I'm going to do that. But um, that was basically, um, that was, it's really funny before how I met Nicole, all the different things I was posting. In fact, actually, the cover art for, um, Four Way of Life comes from a post from my Instagram post that I did in March. When was it, darling? It was March, I think, uh, that I posted about uh, on Instagram. I said, I would love to travel the world and just have me and my girl with me. And I met Nicole three months after that post, four, four months after that post. No, March, April, May. So two months after that post. And yeah, so it's amazing how your past and future come together when you are just yeah tapping into your unconscious your subconscious as you say subconscious which to me i think is lies in in true art in my opinion so also but also in physical physicality and different things so here we go let's take a look here's the song without further ado you get to hear the song and put to um, the olympics my same footage i used in the stronger higher faster i kind of edited it to this because i thought it just fit the song so well so you've seen the footage before. It's a little bit changed up, but just so you could watch it and listen to the song at the same time. So here we go. Way of Life premiered on the David Blair Music Show podcast. If you're just joining me, here it is. World premiere. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm locked inside No circumstances can make it right The light that shines inside me When I'm with you It's true Yeah I just love all these random it's moments true. You know, faces Pain, struggle That's what I love about this so much And this here, random hobby guy Like just You know I love it. I'm in 
bullseye. Give up anything to make this go. Or even if it goes slow. Running game and shadows is taking its toll. Running to the light, it's time to be bold. Falling into hands are open when I need to be held. Makes my eyes smell. Love is a way of life with you. Love has a face that matches you. I know it's all that we need, so mark my words, mark my words, never give up on you. How many stairs do I have to climb to care for you? How many seas do I have to swim to share with you? How many songs do I have to sing to sing with you? How many lives do I have to live to live with you? How many times was my heart break to be with you? Be with you, oh. Love is a way of life with you. Love has a face that matches you. I know it's all that we need, so mark my words. I love and tell me what I'm living for. What are we living for, people? There you go. The premiere of Way of Life with a little sports video in the background. To me, I love it. But we're going to do, it's going to be so much fun. You saw the demo that I did earlier of, uh, of, um, of what we're doing with Way of Life. So I'm excited. Whatever you guys do, I'm, I'm, I'm really reaching out to people who do gardening. I don't even care. It could be like you just love gardening or, you know, you've, you've trimmed your, you know, whatever. You're an architect. It's a building you've built or you've built something. You're passionate about something. I really want to have different things. I, I'm passionate about sports, but certainly there's so many other things that people are passionate about and that they just love. It could be Scrabble. I don't even care. You know, if you love words or you love writing or poetry, it doesn't matter. Send it to me. So there's a link as well as the Dropbox link that you can upload your way of life, hashtag way of life. And um, yeah, I'll put you in the video. We'll, we'll post it. I'll share it with you. I'm really looking forward to it. So so um, where are we at now? Um, I had, uh, we're, we're getting near the end, people. Um, what did I want to play with you? There, oh, yes, that's what it was. Forgot. That's what it was. So this is, uh, I think, on my path on that path to, I guess, say freedom, my freedom for myself. You know, there's a, there's a song called Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. Maybe you guys know that song. Um, by the way, who, for those welcome coming to the show right now, if you just came to the show right now, it's the David Larry Music Show podcast. Thank you for joining me. And uh, we're talking about the meaning of freedom and my journey in, 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 in finding out who I am, discovering myself. Um, I very much subscribe and believe in the saying that Socrates said, know thyself and i think knowing thyself is a lifelong journey till you die basically which is which makes life so much fun it's just a life of discovery and all pain is part of the discovery which then makes your whole life so much more meaningful and purposeful and when you find out what you love doing and how you can serve people it really gives you that sense of actual freedom and power and influence which i think is just in in a good way because i think influence can sometimes be misconstrued but i think everybody wants to be influenced by a great coach or a mentor and we'd all love to be that mentor or coach for people and as well have that feeling from other people. So, you know, when, uh, when, we're, when we're talking about it, I think fine, it's for me the discovery um, is, comes for me a lot from my songwriting, which is what gives me so much joy in, in uh, songwriting, which is why I've been so passionate about it over the years. And I always say to my songwriting friends who I'm coaching along, Diana, if you're still watching, I say this often and, and regularly to songwriters and to myself that if you're scared to say something that's what you need to say that's what will set you free and all those who are listening to the song who are struggling with the same thing will be set free at the same time because what you're scared of needs to be needs to have light shed on it and that's what really sets you free it took me a year of singing this song for me to realize and for me to fully 
heal from this terrible, toxic way of thinking of love. So the song's called Say No. I'd written off love long ago But I played the part for the show People never find love true Even though I told myself they do And it seems that you might like me now But I know deep down I've got nothing to offer And this you're gonna soon find out That's what I was scared of That I'll let you down Over and over Say no Say no to me Listen closely Say no Just save yourself, save us from me Cause I can't see that word I'll only make it hard. I know for most it's probably pretty easy, yeah oh, But it seems I'd like to make my life hard Save yourself this mistake and hit the brakes and let me go. Say no, say no to me. Make it easy to your heart. You know you're having doubts. I'm giving you. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, very, um, just it's embarrassing really to sing that song the way I thought about things. And I entered into a songwriting competition, and the Great American Song Contest is really great. They give feedback, and they said you're way, too, you feel sorry for yourself way too much in the song. Like, cause the second verse actually is supposed to go like, um, it goes, I wish I had something to give. I wish I had love to touch you with. It's just, it's terrible. I'm basically an asshole in the song, but I'm all feeling sorry for myself, and it's like all about me. Woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. It's just, it's a terrible. But I, you know what? I, I kept the song, the way, I kept it the way it was. I could have changed it. But, you know, to me, I think, you know, part of being an artist and being authentic sometimes is just writing a song the way you felt at the time. And sometimes, you know, you, you want to perfect it and you want it to sound perfect, you know, lyrically speaking and, and making the singer sound perfect. But in this song, I wanted to just, that's how I felt at the time. I totally was woe is me. So if anybody felt woe is me ever, you can listen to that song and cry yourself. <laughs> with a huge pillow. Um, so anyway, thank you so much, guys, for coming to the show tonight, the podcast. I'm looking forward to next week. I actually have my first artist on. Uh, there's lots of great things happening, by the way, uh, in my life. We actually are starting a record label right now. It's called Renegade Soul, which is amazing. Me and Nicole are doing it together. Um, and it's so exciting, um, you know, just working with Facebook and just working with artists and releasing new songs. At the end of this month, my single comes out July 31st, Way of Life, that is. You can save it. There's a link. Uh, I know Nicole's putting it in the links out there. You can pre-save it and have it ready. Or you can become a patron, of course, and get the song right now. I think for just, just two euros a month, you're, you're in. You get all my newest, newest singles. You get um, all, all songs that I haven't released before, some magical ones that I've shared before on the show. You can, you can hear those. You'll get um, as well um, just, yeah, basically lots of, oh, yeah, birthday wishes from me, personal videos, all kinds of good stuff. And you just support me, just supporting this, this show, this channel. If you love what I'm doing and you're, you know, then your support just goes a long way for us. We're really so pumped about it. So at the end of this month as well, there's a new artist that we have made a record deal with. Her name is Lara Samira. She is from The Voice of Germany 2017. She's amazing. 
Lara Samira is her name. Check her out. Go to YouTube. She has like, f I think like four or five million views on her, uh, on her singing the ukulele of Let It Be on The Voice of Germany 2017. She's also releasing a song called No Off Switch, my song, No Off Switch at the end of this month. And just her and her ukulele, totally authentic, totally beautiful. It will give you goosebumps in English, Gansehaut auf Deutsch. Um, it's just so beautiful. And it's just, I love it so much. So that comes out July 31st as well. We'll be putting that as well in the patron area as well. So lots of new things going on. So I'm excited about that. Next Saturday, the, the show uh, is going to be about friendship. Why? Well, first of all, of course, I've got a lot of songs about friendship. I think friendship is a great topic to chat about. But I'm also having a special guest from Milan, Italy. Uh, her name is Alessia Labata. And um, um, listen, I'm going to give you uh, play a little bit of what she's up to. She has a song called Something Special, and um, it's about friendship. So check this out. We will never let go, cause I always knew you. right so we're gonna get into that um i met uh, alesha just online actually and uh through um a producer friend of mine who his name is his name is ryan stewart he produced carly ray jepson's call me maybe and they got together did it over online through the covid times and she just released it june 25th that single so we're going to talk about that we talk about what friendship means to her what are her definitions of friendship we're going to chat about that and so she's my first international song singer songwriter guest um, so yeah, you can see that right here on my channel here, the David Blair Music Show podcast at 7 p.m. my time, uh, 10 a.m. on the Pacific Standard, the West Coast time. All right. So um, yeah, looking forward to that next week. So definitely tune in if you want to support the show, become a patron, get some get some extra love for me. We do a private show every once a month, and it's just uh, on Zoom, so we get to all see each other and hang out together. And um, it's just a lot of fun. It's great just building up my tribe, you know, like my, my hug thugs, my hug stars, my hug legends, my online digital hug legends. So uh, a lot of love to you guys all and shouts out to everybody. Thank you so much for joining the show this evening. Um, and I'm going to just sing us out with a way of life, a little acoustic version for a little bit of it. I gave it up in a heartbeat just to stay with you. The people tell me the freedom's not a point of you. When I'm without you locked inside, the circumstances can make it right. The light that shines inside me when I'm with you, oh, it's true. It's true. You know I'm in Give up anything to make this go Even if it goes low Running game and shadows is taking its toll Running to the light, it's time to be bold Falling into hands that hold me when I need to be held Makes my eyes smell Love is a way of life with you, love has a face that matches you I know it's all that we need So mark my words Mark my words They pick up up on you How many stairs do I have to climb to care for you? How many seas do I have to swim to share with you? How many songs do I have to sing to sing with you? How many lives do I have to live to live with you? How many times was my heart free to be with you? Be with you Love is a way of life with you Love has a face that matches you I know it's all that we need, so mind my words And tell me what I'm living for Cause tell me what I'm living for Cause I'm living for you Now I'm living for you Love is a way of life with you Love is a way of life with you Oh yeah Love is a way of life with you. Oh, love is a way of life with you. Everybody, 
Love is a way of life with you. That's just me imagining me playing it in the big stadium and everybody singing it with me. Love is a way of life with you. <sighs> That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, man. Thank you guys so much for being here at the David, Blue Mus- David Blair Music Show podcast. I can't wait to see you next Saturday. We're going to do, like I said, an interview at 7 o'clock p.m. The 1 o'clock show, we're still, going to, we're still going to talk about friendship. It's going to be just me talking, chatting away about what I think about friendship and you know, playing my songs from all my stuff. But we're going to be talking about uh, with Alessia next, sat- next Saturday, so I can't wait. So stay tuned and have yourself a wonderful 4th of July, my American friends uh, and, and just, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy your freedom. Be safe. Don't get hurt. Don't kill anybody with fireworks. Just chill and relax. Uh, but, you know, have some, just have a good time. So happy, wonderful evening to everybody here, the rest of the world here in Europe, and great day for everybody out west.